Hi, Dirty Girl here to show you another vintage haul from the flea market, the rummage sale, and a garage sale. So I'm going to start with all the jewelry, and it's all going to be kind of mixed up. Uh, it all happened the same weekend. So um, I'll just get started. I didn't get a lot at the garage sale or the rummage sale. It's mostly flea market. Uh, so first, the garage sale jewelry. She was selling little bags of jewelry for a dollar a piece, so these were by themselves in a bag. <laughs> I just thought these were funny. I might wear these myself or I might resell them. I don't know, but they're awfully cute. They're not marked. And then in the next bag, I got this pendant, which is nothing special. And then a scarf pin, which is also nothing terribly special. A little turtle pendant. He's kind of cute, but nothing special. No marks or anything. And then I thought that I was getting a pair of nice earrings. However, <laughs> I realized it's one earring and one pendant. So, it's a little bit disheartening. But, um, anyway, the pendant's kind of pretty. It's nicely made, again. That's not marked. And then the second dollar or third dollar lot, I got three pair of earrings. Um, these, I want to say these are 1970s, this kind of pearly enamel on a flower petal. I know I've seen it before, but they're pretty and they're in nice condition. And then um, this is a pair of screwback rhinestone earrings that sadly have a bunch of stones missing, so I will just be using those. I'll either craft with them or harvest from them. And then the third pair is like some 1950s clip-on gold with faux pearl. They're very similar to Trafari or Coro, but um, there's no mark on them. But they're nicely made and they're complete and the pearls are in good shape, so, yay. Um, so that's that for the garage sale jewelry. And then at the rummage sale, I got, what's that? Okay, uh, I got this nice, it's a, just a mesh poinsettia pen, holidays. It's marked KC, and I have not looked that up yet, but, um, it's nice and it's in very good condition. Maybe I'll just wear it for the holidays or maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. And then I got some coral jewelry. And this is actually a pretty nice piece. This is Victorian. It's got a, an engraved clasp. It's like a fish hook clasp with engraving on it. So that's, and it is real coral. And that's, that's pretty nice. I paid $6 for that. And then with it came a little coral necklace. It's a little bit more recent, but still old. And that was $4. Uh, and then also, I'll just show you this real quick. At the rummage sale, I got a piece of cloisonne, a little jar. It was $4. It's not marked on the bottom, so I don't know if that means it's old or not, but it is real. Um, nice little piece. Couldn't pass it up for four dollars. I know cloisonne is kind of a hard sell. I don't know why, because I just think it's beautiful. But I, I can't resist buying it. And I do seem to sell it. Everything eventually sells. So. And then the second thing I got was this coffee cup for me, because I'm looking for, all my coffee cups are getting kind of ratty and faded and so I was looking for a nice, generous sized one. And look, it's got a bird on it. And uh, it's just a 222 fifth, whatever that brand is. So it's not vintage or anything, but just for me. Okay, um, moving on to the flea market jewelry. I did not find a lot, did not find a lot, but uh, I got this metal, which is a Tricolor, oops, ah, tricolor, Our Lady of Guadalupe 
necklace with it's got copper that's probably silver and the gold colored metal I think is probably brass it is marked 14k but it definitely is not gold so really annoying uh, I got this B pin he's got the wings on springs and the wings are hand painted they call these tremblers because they move when you walk. Okay, anyway, he's a he's a trembler and uh, don't think he's marked, but very nice quality. And I paid three dollars for him. I got uh, this is a gold filled tiny little heart doc, heart locket uh, with an Art Deco design on it, and uh, this was made by Stetson Chain Company which was not around for long because they got sued by Stetson over their name. <laughs> so, and that I paid $3 for. And then this is a sterling silver heart locket. It's a Victorian style. Uh, it is not Victorian, I don't think. I think it's a revival piece. But very pretty, $5. And these, those little lockets, they always sell because they're just so sweet and so attractive. Uh, this is probably the nicest piece I got, even though it doesn't look too nice right now because it's black. But uh, this is a silver can of teal wire work antique pin. It's really, really fine, fine, fine work. I will shine it up a little bit because I think black jewelry is kind of unattractive. But I know a lot of people like the tarnish, so I, I don't want to overdo, but I will do it a little bit. Here's the back of it. You can see it's got a C clasp. And uh, it's probably a very early 1900s. And uh, it came with some little clip on earrings, which sort of match. They're not exactly the same, but they're close. I think the earrings are more recent. And all that together was $10. And I got uh, enamel. Daisy pin, probably from the 1960s, and that was, I think it was $3. And then another enamel pin, which is also $3, I think. And hand-painted china porcelain brooch. It is a Victorian style, but the pen is a little more modern than Victorian. It's more like a mid-century, <laughs> but it is very nicely done, and it's in great shape. And that, I think, was $2. And then I got this mid-century modern copper clamper bracelet, and it is by Whiting and Davis, which you probably know. Whiting and Davis is best known for their mesh bags, but they also did jewelry, and it's in just beautiful, beautiful condition. That was $8. I think I can probably sell that for about $35, I'm hoping. And then, uh, this is not exactly jewelry, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, because it's kind of related. This is an Art Deco compact, silver-plated, probably from the 1920s. It is shaped like a coffin. Uh, let's see if I can get it open. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Our uh, guest just got here. We're, this is Thanksgiving, by the way. So uh, I got a glass of wine to finish my video with. Uh, okay, so I was on this uh, cute little um, little compact coffin shaped and uh, meant to hang from a chatelaine or a bracelet or a ring. It's got two little compartments and it says, I believe it says German silver on it. No, I'm sorry, it says nickel silver, which of course is not silver. But uh, a lovely piece, and I paid 15 for that. I got a doll head <laughs> for $3. It is a, a composition, hand-painted, old. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Couldn't resist this darling little bag, mostly because, look at the snap closure. It's two snakes. Isn't that adorable? 
but uh, it's nice. It's got some embroidery. It's got lining. I'm not sure how old this is. Whether it's, I don't think it's really quite as old as it looks. But I did pay 15. Probably paid a little much for that, but it was so cute. I uh, got some Florentine hand painted, gilded, carved boxes from Florence, Italy. These always do well for me. This one I think might be a cigarette box because it's um, lined in plastic. And that was $5. Or maybe it was $10. I think I overpaid for that one. So I paid $10 for this one. Which is... Oh, oh my god. Whoa. It's got a broken hinge, as you maybe can tell. Uh, but it is a jewelry box with a tray in it. And it's got a key and it locks. It does need some attention though, doesn't it? So I think I paid 10 for this and I might have accidentally paid 10 for this other one, which normally I would not pay that much. Um, but I'll, you know, it'll probably sell for like, I don't know, 24 or something. And then uh, while we're on the box theme, before I forget to show you, I got this wonderful inlay box for $5. I think that was a pretty big steal. Don't have a key for it, but it's nice, clean on the inside. It's nice. It's an older. It's a nice older box. You know me and my boxes. Uh, I got this compass. Um, it's a compass and a sundial. It's meant to look like an antique. I think it's more of a fantasy piece than anything. There's the little sundial. Uh, I paid eight dollars for it. The compass does work. Uh, it's see the inside of that. Unfortunately, there's like a million and a half of these out there. Not exactly the same. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot for it. But it does say pocket sundial. A cute little stocking stuffer. Maybe I'll put that up right now. Uh, more Florentine. Got some salt and pepper shakers. These always do well. I think I probably paid 10 for those. Maybe I paid... I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe I paid 5 for the box and 10 for each of these. Maybe. Um, I bought, this is a um, Selkirk glass paperweight from Scotland, and I believe I paid uh, eight, something like eight for that, eight, ten, and this is a, um, a Joe St. Cloud paperweight, and I paid ten for that, and then this is a Murano Millefiori cane glass. Really beautiful. And this was only $5. And I was so surprised. The guy wrapped it up for me and I got my money out. And later when I was taking it out, he, he included this nice brass stand. So five bucks for that and the stand. Got two, count them, two really nice old copper kettles. These things weigh a ton. They are probably from Turkey. They're old, old, old. And I paid ten a piece for those. Got some bells. Uh, surprisingly, these are from Germany. I just hunted around on the internet until I found some like them and there's, uh, I, they're from Germany. Anyway, um, I paid, I don't know what I paid for that, eight dollars or something. Something like that. Uh, I got these tongs. I want to say I paid seven or eight for those. They're nice old cast iron. And I got this pole tray. Paid two dollars for that. I got this at the rummage sale. Nice hand painted. Good condition. Uh, very 1940s. And let's see, did I forget anything? I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And hit the little bell if you would like to be notified um, by email when I put up a new video. And uh, comment if you like. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye.